What is up everybody, Jayco here today. Just getting in my workout, so kind of recording and talking about something. I like to be uh, very honest with my fans about my life and everything like that. A lot of people are like, you know, Jay, keep your, keep your life to yourself. Don't, don't tell everybody about it. But that's just who I am. I'm just a genuine, individual, authentic person that likes to talk about my life. And in life, I just feel I'm so different than everybody else. And don't, don't get this wrong. It's, there's nothing wrong with being different, right? But it's the way that I was brought up with my childhood that made me different. The way that I experience things that people don't normally experience made me different. So I'm not gonna go sit here on YouTube and bash my family and bash the way I was brought up and stuff like that. But let's just say that I'm very, very lucky that I ended up the way I am today. The, the where I am, the financial stability, the things I have in life, my health, my dogs, my family. It's remarkable how it all led to this, but there's still, there's still that want of more. And it's not the want of more of money, it's not the want of more of, of dogs, it, it's the want of more out of life. Like what does life have for me? And I see all these people on Instagram and stuff like that, enjoying their life, going to concerts, hanging out with friends, spending time with family. And at one point I do want that, and at one point I don't want that. Now, it sucks because I feel like everything in my life almost feels like if it's not doing something that benefits my life, it feels like a waste of time. And that's how I've always felt for almost everything. Like, I don't do so much stuff because I feel it's a waste of time. I work out because it helps my body, it makes me look better, it makes me feel better. It has so many benefits to my life, even despite getting a hernia from it. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing it, you know? I like to be able to look at myself in the mirror and be happy with myself and happy with my body. That's, that's you know, that's a pleasure. So stuff like going out and hanging out with friends and doing, I just don't do it. And I can't find myself a reason to do it or a want to do it. But it seems like everybody in, in life is so preoccupied with friends and stuff and maybe that's why they're not successful or I, I'm not sure. But like I said, I'm very lucky I didn't end up, you know, poor or doing drugs or being a father at a young age and not be able to take care of my child. So I'm very, you know, fortunate in that category. So another thing is that like, I'm a very, like when I was younger, and then even when I was, you know, in my early 20s, I used to be a very free spirit when it came to hanging out with people and just hooking up and stuff like that. And now I'm like, that's like, even though I'm single now, that's just not what I want to do. Like, I don't want to go meet people, bang, bang, and then say goodbye and never see them again or, or have a friends with benefits relationship. I just don't want that. I don't find, even when I was with somebody, I didn't even want to have sex that much because my drive is just not there. Like, it's not, like, I, I only, like, when I was with somebody who I love and I care about, and I had sex with them, I did it because I love and I care about them. Yeah, I wanted to get off, but at the same time, I, I do it with a passion behind it. Not that I'm particularly a foreplay guy or, or whatever. I just did it because I want to do it with that person, but if it, oh, the bug just flew, sorry about that noise, bug just flew into the thing. So if somebody asked me, and, and you pointed out, just a regular girl, and you said, would you rather beat your meat or have sex with this girl? 99% of the time, I'd rather just beat my own meat. Like, I don't know if anybody else thinks like that, but that's how I think. I don't want to have to have an emotional um, relationship with this person to have sex with them. I don't want to have to worry about cleaning this person up. I don't want to have to worry about seeing this person after I'm done. Like, and I don't want to have to worry about impregnating or potentially getting some type of disease from this person and meeting this person. Like, it's just so much. So I know this video is going all over the place, bouncing around like a really bad movie, but that's the truth of it. So my life right now is just so crazy. Like right now, I'm in the process of a break with the person that I was with um, and we're both trying to change 
for the better to make this relationship work. However, it feels like she's pushing me to change and she's almost staying the same. But I, I don't know where it's taking me. I don't know if I'm getting back together with this person. But right now I'm just alone and I'm like trying to put myself back out there and see what's out there and see if I'm compatible with anybody else. And it's just like, I'm not compatible with anybody else. Like I'm seeing these people that are like, oh, I like to go party. Oh, I like to stay at home. Oh, like it's the world is just crazy right now. It's just absolutely crazy what's in it. It's like, I don't know what's up with this society. I don't know if I was supposed to be born in the fucking 60s or something, but it seems like people just live off their parents now and don't want to do anything. So this was a quick video, guys. I'm not here to rant. I'm just trying to be honest and trying to discover myself. The person I was with wants me to go in for, um, to speak to a psychiatrist. I just gotta find um, an insurance that will be able to cover that. And that way I can speak to a psychiatrist and go and get myself taken care of because my, my mental health is, is clearly not all there right now. Like I'm not suicidal or anything, but you know, I don't know, if I didn't have my dogs, I, I honestly don't know where I would be. So I thank my dogs every day for being by my side and sticking with me. And there's nothing I wouldn't do without them. Here, I'm going to get some place to sleep in right now. Hold on. There's Bella, Buster, Junior's right there, and Beulah's actually right behind Bella. My babies, I love them.